Welcome to the platform of the truth of the matter. We are reaching you from Biafra Television, London. The program Indigenous People of Biafra organized on the 30th of May 2017. That program is remembrance of our fallen heroes and heroines who paid the ultimate price as we may live as a people. When our people come out to protest, to exercise their right, their human right, the Nigerian security agents will kill our people. On 30th of May 2016, the Afrans were slaughtered for coming out to observe this program of remembrance of our fallen heroes and the heroines. They were killed. Therefore, the indigenous people of Biafra have decided to sit at home on 30th of May, 2017, to remember our fallen heroes and the heroines. What is your advice to our people? Thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Moderato. Um, the program designed to commemorate the remembrance of our fallen heroes, those who paid with their lives, to save our people to, so that we will live. Right from 1945, when the Nigerian state started killing the Biafrans, killing Biafrans which culminated in the war of 1967 to 1970, during which time Britain sponsored a genocide against, against the people of Biafra. Yeah. Biafrans have lost over 10 million people if proper calculation is made. Right under from, the banner of Biafra. Yes, under the banner of Biafra, right from 1945 till date. And um, since the agitation for the restoration of the sovereign state of Biafra began, which was heavily led by Mazin Namde Khan, the Ohamadike of Biafra land. The Nigerian state has taken it upon themselves to pride themselves on the number of Biafrans they can mow down, they can maim, they can massacre. And these are innocent civilians. And these are Biafran citizens who are harmless. The massacre of the people of Biafra continued until 1967, when the then governor of the eastern region, the, 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 the governor of the eastern region, Dean Chukwebeka Odume Bojubu, in consultation with the elders and the Supreme Council of Elders of uh, Biafra land, decided to declare the state of Biafra a sovereign state. This resulted in the Nigerian Biafra War, during which time Nigeria carried a war of extermination, a genocide against the Biafran people. Now, it will be recalled that during this process, the entire world was kept in the dark. The British government enforced land, sea, and air blockade against the Biafran people to make sure that the ethnic cleansing going on in Biafran land was not reported. What happened during this three-year war is now history for the world to know. But Biafrans know very well that it is in our culture to bury our dead ones. It is in our culture to give honor to our dead loved ones. And now, these loved ones are not just people that died on their own. These are people that were massacred by the Nigerian state. So, the new agitation for the restoration of the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Nam de Khan, have chosen to remember these great heroes who paid with their lives so that we may live on the 30th of May every year. 
it is on record that this observance took place 30th of May 2016. And Nigerian state mobilized their murderous agents, a combination of the police, the army, and the navy, to come out in the streets and massacre our people. Even those that we are praying in the church, we are mowed down in the night. So their friends took their lessons from that. They took stock of themselves from that event and decided that this, the observance of the remembrance of our fallen heroes of the year 2017 will no longer be a public celebration. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra therefore commanded that there should be a seat at home protest or observance of this particular event, the remembrance of our fallen heroes. Therefore, Biafrans are advised to have a sober reflection of our dead brothers and sisters, our fathers and mothers that we are killed by the Nigerian murderous agents. To take a sober reflection of the price they paid that we may live and sit at home and obey the command of our leader, Mazin Namdekan, that all Biafrans, all shops, all banks, every activity in Biafra land should come to a standstill on the 30th of May to give respect to our fallen heroes. Mr. Moderator, I think it is a worthwhile observation of course, for Biafrans to observe the sit at home protest in honor of our dead loved ones. Thank you very much, Mr. Ketchupuri. Thank you for, for your contribution. Yes, of course. In Biafra land, the people of Biafra are advised to sit at home, to not go out, to make sure they, they remember our fallen heroes and the heroines while at home. Stay at home praying. Stay at home to observe so that the Nigerian government will not kill you. Because many Biafrans, when we come out to observe our fallen heroes and the heroines to remember them, and the Biafrans will be killed. This happened on 30th of May, 2016. Mr. Mr. James also wrote, what do you have to tell the Biafrans in regards to sit at home 30th of May, 2017? Um, thank you, Majoba. I Honestly, I am not um, happy that uh, our people have been killed, had an earmark yes. for proper extermination. So I want to tell our people that we are the people of God. And everything we do, we take our directives from the Holy Book. I want every Biafran to go and study the book of Exodus chapter number 12, reading from verses 11 to 13. When it happened in the land of Israel, the Most High commanded and instructed Moses and his brother Aaron to gather the people of Israel together to stay put in the home, not to go out because he is about to do something. The king of Egypt and the Egyptians we are killing the people of Israel at random. We are manhandling them. We are making them to suffer in that land. And God said, the time for me to liberate my people 
has come. Now Moses and your brother Aaron gather my people together. You have to do this feast. Eat this in your house, in your home. Don't go out that when I come, I'm going to send the angel of destruction to come and destroy your enemies. I'm going to send that angel who is coming to fight for you because nobody on earth has come to fight for you. Nobody on earth has come to release you in this captivity. I, your maker, have come to release you. Therefore, obey my instruction. Stay in your room. On that very night, I'm going to send the angel of destruction. That when I come, you stay put. When I see the blood, I shall pass over you. And I'm going to destroy your enemies. This exercise is spiritual. Dear friends, we have been killed before 1945. But the ones that are on record is that of 1945, 1953, 1966, from 1966 through this 2017, we are being killed by our enemies. We are being killed by those whom we live with. We see them as one, but they see us as not the same. Therefore, dear friends, the way God fought the battle for Israel in the land of Egypt is the way our God is coming to fight our battle. I want you to know that that blood which God saw on the doorposts of the Israelites and he went and he allowed them to go and he killed the Egyptians. The same blood our people has shed it on the street of Nigeria. And because of that, and also on the street of Biafra land, the same blood which you have shed, go into your room. God is sending an angel on that very day to do what? To fight for you. That the enemies will be defeated. That the enemies of Biafra will be destroyed. So do not ignore or do not disrespect this very instruction given. Stay in your house. If any governor or any government official asks you if you didn't come to work, that you'll be dismissed. Tell them that you are you better be dismissed and receive your freedom than being there, obeying them the same way some people, some Israelites said it is better for them to stay in Egypt than to go on their freedom. And those who said it was it was better for them to stay in Egypt than to go for their freedom, they died in the desert. I wouldn't want us to die again. They have killed us enough. Now buy whatever you are going to eat. Before the 28th of this month, May. So that as from 29th, the night of 29th, I want you to go into your room. Lock up your door with your family. Begin to pray. Begin to declare. So that the angel of destruction will begin that night to do the work before the morning of 30th May. And you will see, for they shot us at the night of 29th May last year, 2016, 2016. where you were praying, you gathered in the church. Now be in your home. That God will send away all enemies in Biafra land. Those whom you call the Katoriaras. They are not Katoriaras, they are enemies that were sent to you. The angels is coming to drive them away. This is a very good instruction. Do not ignore this. I don't have much to tell you, but obey this instruction that the principles of God will prevail in Biafra land. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. James Osorobi. Of course, you put it very clear to our people. On 30th of May 2017, the indigenous people of Biafra organized a sit-at-home program to remember our fallen heroes and the heroines. All institutions, both private and public, shut down on 30th of May 2017. We are a people who will decide what will happen in our land. Therefore, all Biafrans, all Biafrans from all the provinces of Biafra land, all the states in Biafra land, 
both the place they call South South and the place they call South East and now, I call upon to observe, to remember our fallen heroes and the heroines. Before, so many Biafrans have been killed under the banner of Biafra. Now, now the Khan is leading the indigenous people of Biafra to our promised land. So many Biafrans have been killed as well. We must remember them. We must respect their souls. We must respect their spirit so that God Almighty will intervene in this our case of freedom. The indigenous people of Biafra, you all will decide what will happen in your land. Remember your fallen heroes and the heroines. Your parents who died, your relatives, your brothers and sisters, all of them who were killed by Nigerian murderous states, you have to remember them on 30th of May 2017. While doing that, you will sit in your own home, you will sit in your house, praying to Chukokike Abiyama to hear our prayer so that we will gain our freedom. Right now, we are going on a short break. When we come back, we shall let you know. We shall talk more and advise you on what to do on 30th of May, 2017. Keep watching. Freedom is what we need now. Freedom, freedom is what we want now. Call it the United Nations. Welcome back to the Truth of the Matter edition. We are coming to you from Biafra Television, London. We are discussing on the program, the indigenous people of Biafra, organized on 30th of May 2017, a seat at home program. Ms. Dika um, do you have any other thing to say in regards to this? Because um, that very day will be very important in the life of every Biafra. Do you still have any other thing? Of course, of course. Uh, the our people need to realize that the restoration of Biafra is a do or die affair. Of course. And um, we need to let the world know we are resolved in our quest for the restoration of Biafra. Yes. Now, how do we make the world know that we are? united in our resolve to restore Biafra, if not for a, an occasion like this. We are calling for a referendum for us to express our desire, our all one united decision to exit from the British created contraption called Nigeria. Yes, whether we are comfortable with Nigeria or, or not. not. Mm. Now, for Biafrans to be able to establish before the international community that we are resolved to get out of the Nigerian state, we need to have an overwhelming majority vote in order to do what? to win the referendum and get out of Nigeria and... And we shall get it because indigenous people of Biafra, every people they want Biafra. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we tell the world that we are resolved in this? 30th of May is a good example. I remember when we had similar protests, which we called the Free Nandikan Campaign Seat at Home. That one was very wonderful as well. The whole very world very came to a standstill. The entire Biafra land was deserted. The streets of Biafra land was deserted. And there was no movement anywhere in Biafra land. And the entire world saw that we are resolved. In our one single demand then for the release of Nandikan, the opportunity has come again for us to show, for us to tell the entire world that we want Biafra by all means. How do we do this? By obeying this command of sit at home. If the entire Biafra is turned into a ghost land on the 30th of May, the whole world will know 
that the entire Biafra have decided to say one thing and do one thing. If we sit at home on the 30th of May, the day we set aside for the remembrance of our fallen heroes and, we will be, and heroines, we will be sending a wonderful message to the whole world that the entire Biafra and the Biafrans have decided, have resolved to get out of the contraption called Nigeria. In other words, this is a, going to be a preamble to our coming or upcoming referendum, the Biafra exit, yes. that is coming up very soon. So, I implore all Biafrans, I want all Biafrans to obey this seat at home order. It is going to convey a very strong message to the international community and even to the Nigerian government that the Biafrans are determined to leave. I want to also remind Nigerians that they are yet to come to terms with the amnesty report of 2016 uh, massacre of Biafrans during the, um, the remembrance, remembrance day of mm -hmm. our fallen heroes. heroes. When they massacred our, our, our brothers and sisters who are unarmed in the streets of uh, uh, Onisha and uh, Mbo, yes. which the Amnesty International reported. If Nigeria is ready to repeat such acts again, we are yet to see. So, dear friends, are they, are they going to do it? Uh, uh, maybe, they are going, that, may, no, maybe they are going to go from house to house. You never know because Nigerian government are so you know, insensitive. No, okay? with, with this seat at home, uh, we have proven to Nigerian state that the people of Biafra are ready and resolved ready. and very very resolved. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So eventually we are going to observe this seat at home and it is going to be a, a tester to the Nigerian government that Biafrans are resolved to go. And we are going to achieve our referendum and we are going to get out of Nigeria without shooting one bullet. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Kechi Sir, Yes, um, what do you tell the, the public institutions and the private institutions? Thank you very much for reminding me. Mm. This is an opportunity to call on all public institutions in Biafra land. The schools, the colleges, the marketplaces. All the markets in Biafra land should be locked down. All the chairmen and uh, child leaders of all market associations in Biafra land must pass uh, this information to their people that there will be no market activities on the 30th of May. Banking institutions in Biafra land, all the financial houses in Biafra land should be locked down. There should be no activities in banks, in financial institutions in Biafra land. Hospitals are the only area of uh, life activity that could be on because life, we need to save lives. People that are critically sick in the hospital need attention. Doctors can go to work and take care of our sick brothers and sisters in Biafra land. But any other while thing, observing the while yes. they sit at home, of course, mm -hmm. while observing the sit at home, no activities on the streets of Biafra land and no activities anywhere in Biafra land. Everybody should observe this seat at home and if the government of uh, any government or state government in Biafra land imposes any conditionality to, uh, to civil servants or observers of this particular uh, seat at home protest, I would want to remind them of the democracy day usually observed on the 12th of June every year by the Oduduwas. Even the government of Lagos State and all the Oduduwa states observe June 12 as their democracy day. Why? Because their son, MKO Abiola, won an election and was nullified or was annulled by the then head of state, Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida. MKO Abiola's election was the freest and the fairest election ever conducted in Nigeria, but it was notified by uh, Babangida. 
And up to today, the Oduduwas observe June 12th as their democracy day. And Nigeria has never rolled out their tanks. They have never uh, uh, mobilized their military to go and shoot their uh, public holidays and uh, protest on such days. There should be no reason why Nigeria should be against Biafra for observing their heroes and heroines day. So, this is a wake-up call to all institutions in Biafra land to sit at home and lock down. Thank you, Mr. Mondre. Thank you, Mr. Kachukubu. Of course, you put it very well before the indigenous people of Biafra. All the governors in, the, in Biafra land, you are called upon to sit at home. No need to go to government house. All the senators and all the rest of you, you are called upon to sit at home on that date of Even the House of uh, Assembly. Yes, yes. State House of, uh, House of Assembly. Yes, of course. <laughs> so you family. are called upon to sit at home to remember our fallen heroes and the heroines. Some of them are your parents, some of them are your relatives. Therefore, no matter that you are now in the government house, that cannot stop you from remembering your, your fathers, your sisters, your mothers who, who died in their lives. Yes, who died as you may live. So the indigenous people of Biafra organized a sit at home program on 30th of May 2017. Every person of Biafra must obey this order. Coming from the indigenous people of Biafra. Mr. James Osorubi, what do you say? Of course, it is paramount for our people to sit at home on that very day. Everything I do in life, I do my comparison and get it from the root for which God has ordained it. Yes, of course. I want to take us to the book of Joshua, chapter number 6, read from verse 1 to 27. You will find how God also told Joshua now he has told Moses to do and Aaron, and they did, and God defeated the enemies. In the time of Joshua, the enemies came again when they built the wall of Jericho against the children of God. And God also told Joshua to tell the people of Israel that all you have to do is to walk around the wall, simple instruction, seven times and you blow the trumpet and the wall will fall. They didn't have any gun, they didn't have any ammunition, neither do they have any tanks to roll to bring down the wall of Jericho. It's just a simple instruction from God. And God sent the heavenly tankers, missile, sent the heavenly missile, sent every ammunition unimaginable. Today, in our own time, God is going to send more than a monster to come and destroy people who are killing us. They killed us. Nobody is talking about it. The international community have given a report. Nobody is talking about it. And they want us to die. They want us to come on the street again that they will kill us. Now God has given us the spirit of understanding. The wisdom. And the wisdom to do what the people of Israel, our brothers did in those days when they were killed, that he is going to unleash mayhem and destruction on our enemies. Today, the Nigerian military, last time they did their fight on dancing on our streets. Today, God is going to send the monster to dance on the street of Nigeria, that they will be destroyed since they decide to destroy the people of Biafra. Since they have made up their mind not to allow us go, God is going to deal with them. They will talk to you and say, oh, they want you to come, that they will restructure Nigeria, why they are not talking about your killings. They will talk to you and say, come, you have to work so that you will be paid, why they are not talking about your killings. Stay at home. Make sure you are part of this observance. And I also want to talk to the Nigerians who are truthful. To themselves, who never liked the killing of their friends of any kind, who has always been on the right path in solidarity with their friends, who have been incarcerated one way or the other, who has been troubled one way or the other for speaking the truth. I want you to join us 
in this day at home, wherever you are, are you in Arewa land, Arewa nation, are you in Oduduwa nation, sit at home and pray for every incarceration against you and your family will be liberated. God is sending an angel to come and do the work. Between now and October, we shall get the result. I am telling us this. I am not speaking carnally. Between now and October, if you observe this, we will see what God will do for us. Thank you, my brother. For me, the, Mr. Moderator, just give me a second for me to just chip in this. Okay. James right. Osorobi mentioned uh, our brothers in the wider uh, Nigerian states yes, to course. also join in the protest. Mm. Now, it has been on record that the businesses of our brothers in the wider Nigerian uh, states has always been a target of the Nigerian states because they are Biafras. In the north, in Jos, in, in, in Kaduna, in Sokoto, in Meduguri, in Yola, every part of, of the Nigerian uh, uh, states, mm -hmm. Biafras has been the target of the Nigerian uh, people, their businesses, their interests has always been a target. This is the time for you to join in solidarity in observing this seat at home. Close down your markets in such areas. Close down your businesses in such areas and let them know that we want our own Biafran sovereign state. This is the only way you can come out of this suffering. No longer shall your shops be burnt down. No longer shall your interests be targeted. If you eventually observe this, the whole Nigerians will know that you want to leave. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ketchupu. Yes, all of your friends in Nigeria state, those of you who are doing one business or another, you are called upon to observe 30th of May Remembrance Day, sit at home. Anywhere you are in Nigeria, in Biafra, you are called upon to sit at home while remembering our fallen heroes and the heroines who died as we may live. Right now, we are coming to the end of this program. Always be with us.